you still got to prove that he knew. It, it feels like it's it's hard to prove. Is that what the committee is going to try to do, that, that uh, he knew about this and did nothing about this or didn't know about this? I think the timing is key. You know how we always kind of read into how long a jury deliberates, whether a person's guilty or innocent. I think if we get something uh, in a way of a press conference is being called within t- that's not good. If they go longer, that tells me they're looking at texts, emails, voicemails, trying hard to prove he didn't know. But, Dan, I got to ask you, man, football coaches work in a close environment. Wives, they vacation together. They shop together. Wives are they're essentially single parents while coaches are coaching. Do you really believe, like, a, a, a coach's wife could be abused? Other coaches' wives wouldn't know it? Or in this case, we know the other, some of the coaches' wives knew it, including the head coach's wife. And for three years, she's not going to tell the head coach? I mean, do you buy that? No. No. I don't think anybody buys that. But you still have to prove it. That's the hurdle this committee has. But it's still Urban Meyer, and it's not a wide receivers coach. So there's a little bit more latitude that he's going to get. Um, I, I don't know if he can keep his job. I don't, you know, let's say they found that he lied and he did know and he didn't do anything about it. Uh, you know, is that going to be a fireable offense? You know, I think that's probably what it's going to come down to. I think you're right. And I think what this committee's trying to do is the impossible. I think they're trying to figure out a way that they can keep Urban Meyer and win the story nationally. Yep. They're not going to win the story nationally unless they fire him. They're going to win the story locally if they keep him. That's absolutely a certainty. The people locally don't care. They want to keep winning. They want to keep beating people 65 to seven. They want to keep going to the playoffs. I don't see a way they can win the story nationally because it's domestic violence. It's the appearance of him lying. The pictures are the pictures. I just don't think there's any way they win it nationally. Now, the question is, do they care enough about not winning it nationally to give him a three or four game suspension and try to position it somewhere in the middle perhaps win it a little bit nationally and win it locally because he stays the coach. Yeah, I wondered about that, and I had some uh, some feedback yesterday in the coaching community, and they said don't rule out uh, some kind of suspension for Urban. Maybe it's half the season, uh, but then they could still keep him and still save face because, you know, I was told by two coaches yesterday, they said this isn't about uh, locally, this is about nationally. And, it, and you could kind of placate both sides here. And that, you know, they said, don't rule that out. I don't know if that would be precedent setting, but you know, they didn't give Jim Trestle that opportunity. I don't know if they give Urban Meyer that opportunity. Yeah, we're in a lot different climate now with domestic violence. It's the hot button issue. And, uh, but Urban is loved by the fans a different way than Tress. Tress was loved because of his image. But Urban, man, he satisfies the bloodlust. He doesn't just beat you 27-20. He'll beat you 57-7 to if he can. And so the fans have gotten used to going to the playoffs two out of every five years. And Ohio State has this weird dynamic, Dan. They want to be Harvard in the classroom, and they want to be Alabama on the football field. And the two most successful coaches they've had in a, you know, in a long, long time, Tress and Urban, may both be headed for the same fate. And you got to ask yourself maybe, is it incompatible being Harvard in the classroom and Alabama on the football field because the football portion of this just keeps kind of finding uh, interesting and bothersome ways to embarrass the university. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.